arabesques are the classic belly dance advanced move and I'm going to show you how to make them fabulous. Hi, I'm Charlotte Desorga and I've been a belly dancer for 40 years and a dancer for almost 60 years, can you believe it? And um, I have taught dancers from absolute beginners right through to top international professionals. To my mind, one of the most beautiful belly dance moves for the advanced dancer is the arabesque. And I really care passionately about this move. It is my favorite move. I love doing it. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you the absolute basics of beautiful, beautiful classical arabesque technique. And in subsequent videos, I'm going to be showing you some variations and some combinations with arabesque. So let's get going. The belly dance arabesque is different from a ballet arabesque, although the words are obviously the same, um, and there are similarities. The big difference with the belly dance arabesque is that it travels, whereas a ballet arabesque is static. You just literally stand on one leg and lift the other one up at the back. The ba belly dance arabesque always travels. Yeah? It's a big, grand move. It's what we would call a classic oriental move. It's a, it's a stagey move rather than a little cabaret or sort of restaurant move. You know, you really need to stretch out. So it's absolutely a classic move for a big entrance piece, what we call a majency. Um, and you know, they, you know, when, when you have a lot of space, um, because you want to really be able to expand. And it travels. So it typically travels over four counts. So I'm going to do, for, there are two variations, well, two variations in terms of the steps and the counts. There's lots of variations of, of styling, but we, we're going to do a one, two, three, and a turn. One, two, three, arabesque. Yes, so we're going step, 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 arabesque, and a turn. Step, 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 arabesque, and a turn. The alternative is to do your arabesque first. So we would go step, arabesque, step, 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 arabesque, step, step. So the counts there are one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Whereas the other one is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's do that going down towards the mirror so you can see what's happening and I'll show you the direction changes. So, if I lead off on my right foot, which most of us prefer to do, most of us are right-legged, right um, I'm facing the left diagonal, yeah? I'm going towards that left diagonal and I'm stepping towards that diagonal on my first three steps and then I turn towards the right diagonal on the arabesque. So I'm step, 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 and I turn towards the left diagonal. Okay, so one, two, three, arabesque, one, two, three, arabesque. Yeah. Likewise, if I'm doing the arabesque first, I will do the first one, my, my arabesque facing that diagonal, arabesque, and I'll turn, and then I'll go one, two. Arabesque, step, step. Arabesque, step, step. Yeah, coming down. Arabesque, you can see I do that. I'm, at, I'm always turning on the arabesque. The reason that we're turning on the arabesque is because we're up on the ball of the foot and we can do that turn. Up, turn. Yeah, in the mirror. Step, turn, and boom, boom, and. So, lots to think about. This is why this is an advanced move. There's an awful lot of thing to think about and a lot of technique involved. And you need quite a lot of strength and um, control as well. You don't want to be throwing yourself around. The thing that I want to really emphasize is as you turn, what you're going to be using to do that turn is your internal muscles, yeah? your core muscles, so the, from the psoas through the lower abdomen and up through, through the abdomen, but particularly this 
strong, strong set of muscles down here that we call us, or, you know, the lowest um, core stability muscles. So, I talk a lot um, in my classes and, um, and here on, on YouTube about the importance of pulling up through the psoas. The psoas is a big muscle um, that goes inside the pelvis and the way that you can access is if you imagine that you've got a very tight pair of jeans that's got a double zip and you're going to pull up that double zip, yeah? So that makes you pull up here. So rather than being more floppy here and letting this hang, you're pulling up through here. I'm not tucking. What I'm doing is I'm pulling up through this fantastic strong core stability muscle. The big mistake that I see time and time again is belly dancers using their leg to get them round. Yeah? So, as they turn, they go one, two, three, leg goes round. One, two, three, leg goes round. The important thing is to keep the leg behind the body. If I face the mirror here, yeah, I'm going to be standing on my right leg. I'm going to pull up through this core because that always makes me nice and strong. I'm going to lift the leg off, not very high. You can't lift it very high. Yeah, we're not ballerinas. Just going to lift it a little way off the off, off the floor with your toes pointed, of course, because it will look awful if you've just got a sloppy old foot hanging off the bottom of your leg. Foot and um, leg behind. Lift that foot off the ground. Pulling up in the core, and you're actually going to be up on your toes. Yeah, it's a lot to think about, but don't worry, we're doing it while we're moving, so that makes this a little bit easier. And if you use your core to turn around, so at the moment, what I'm doing, as I'm turning, I'm coming up on, on my toe, I'm leaving this leg behind me, this up, this leg that's up is staying behind me, and I'm using this bit of my body to turn me around, yeah? So I step up and I'm turning. One, two, three, pulling up. And this is what is turning me around, yeah? All the time, it's this big set of muscles. You don't want to use the momentum of your leg to get you around. When you have this leg up behind you, you'll feel a little bit of a constriction here, yeah? Which is why you can't lift it up very high, but that's okay. Don't overcome that by just sticking it out to the, to the side, yeah? Just because there's a little feeling of constriction, you know, you've got, you know, you've got your back and your pelvis basically sort of tilting towards each other here, and um, so you will feel a little bit of, yes, it's, it's quite a strong move you're doing. But just lift it up as much as you can, rather than thinking, oh, that's uncomfortable, so I'll do that, yeah? or that, yeah? Remember how powerful this move is, and it is an advanced move, so you want to make sure that you do it really, really well. Um, and that you know your technique. So, the other thing to think about is when you step, we are advanced dancers by this point, we should know that we don't walk with heels first, yes? We're dancers and not bricklayers. Yeah. So therefore, when we walk, we need to walk with the ball of the toe first. So we're ba I'm basically going toe heel, toe heel, toe heel. I'll do it in the mirror so you can see my feet better. Toe heel, toe heel. And can you see how, as I bring my foot through, it sort of strokes the, the floor, yeah? The toe strokes, strokes the floor. I bend the knee and then I straighten it. So I'm bending it and I straighten it and I straighten it, yeah? So this is a good dancer's walk. I'm feeling the floor as I go. One, two, three. I am not going. One, two, three. Oh, yeah? Okay. <laughs> you could do if you were doing some shabby or something, but this is high class oriental. High art oriental style. Now, as I say, this is a tricky old move, so if you have any questions at all, pop them in the comments below and I will answer them. The other thing is that in my online belly dance school, which is called Undeniables Online, I teach all these moves in detail and I also give you 
strengthening exercises to make sure that you have good strong bodies that can really do these these powerful advanced moves well so check out undeniables online it's www.undeniables.online have a look and you'll see it's absolutely full of it's got we've got classes at intermediate level and at and advanced levels, quite a lot of advanced level on all sorts of courses, on veil work, ballady, uh, margana, just so much you would not believe it. And also, I te when I teach my advanced classes, they're full advanced classes with good strong body conditioning and drills in there to get your body strong and that's what you need for moves like this. So check it out and come and join us. Okay, so where were we? Um, let's have a look at, finally, the arms. The arms are going to come forward and then they're going to come into this position. Forward and into this position. So the leg that is up at the back, that arm is down. And if I just show you from the front, this is my actual position, yeah? So, as up, so you don't want to have this arm back too far, yeah? It's actually out to the side, but it'll look like it's a little bit far, a little bit, a little bit behind, because I'm on the diagonal. Yeah, and you see, it's just a, um, it's just a feature, you know, so like an optical illusion, if you like, because I'm going on the diagonal. So I'm going a one, two, three, lift. One, two, three, lift. I don't have much space here, but I'm sure you're on exactly the same position. One, two, three. And one, two, three, and. Yeah. Arms come forward and up, forward and up. Try and avoid the temptation to go boom, ba da 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 dum da. I see this a lot. Crossing and up. The hands come here and then they open and they come here and they open. Remember to keep your rib cage lifted, your shoulders down and back. Don't, when you're bringing your arms forward, you're not coming like this, you keep those, oh, those shoulders back. Remember to keep your core strong. One last little tip I can give you actually is, when you go up onto releve, you push down through the floor, through the ball of your foot. You might need to just slightly rest here, here to do that, yeah. So I'm pressing down through the floor, and I'm pulling up, I'm actually pulling up from my thighs, all the way up through my thighs, all the way up through my abs, and making sure that I'm beautiful and strong, I can iron bar all the way up here, and then I can keep that strong, beautiful technique. Yeah? One, two, three, and one, two. So I'm pushing down and I'm pulling up. The other variation of this classic style is to do the arabesque and step, step, arabesque and step, step. So, any questions you have, pop them in the comments below. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell because I bring out a new video every week. Next week, I will be showing you variations. I'm going to be showing you a reverse arabesque, yeah? I'm going to be showing you a sideways arabesque, and I'm going to be showing you a modern Cairo style arabesque. After that, we'll have a look at some combinations. But work at, have, a, have a go at that technique. Really, really concentrate on making that technique as good as you can. Don't expect to get it straight away. Um, it needs a bit of practice, but it's really worth doing. As I say, come and join me in Undeniables online. You'll get lots and lots of good technique tips, lots of practice. Um, come and join all the other advanced dancers that we have who join us from all over the world in Undeniables online. So check it out and hope to see you. And I'll see you next week for Arabesque Variations.